Hello and welcome to my new series, Masks and Mysteries. For this series, I will be trying out a variety of spa products, mostly facial masks, but also bath bombs, scrubs, things of that variety, and talking about mysteries. My spa product reviews on their own were not doing super stellar, and I feel really weird just staring at a camera talking about things when I am a beauty based channel, but obviously I'm into the FX and I'm into the spooky, so I wanted to do something where I could review things like this mermaid bath bomb that promises me a prize inside, and this moisturizing face mask, and be able to chill out like I usually do in the bathtub, or sitting at my vanity while well, talking to you guys about some spooky things and showing you maybe some products you haven't been able to try before. Hopefully the future ones have cooler prizes than this dumb... What is that? A tattoo? A temporary tattoo that says Girl Boss. Whatever. I'll wear it one day. For today's mystery, we are talking about probably one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard of. The moth. The Mothman legend starts in West Virginia, with sightings ranging between 1966 and 1967. It created such a phenomenon that the town actually has an annual Mothman Celebration Festival, and there was a Richard Gere film that was based off of, I guess, a book <laughs> that was written about the Mothman and these sightings. The sightings were reported as a large humanoid creature with glowing red eyes that reflected back when a light was put into them. They reported it having a seven foot wingspan. Um, some of the theories are that it could have been a sandhill crane, which was not local to that area. Um, so there could have been some confusion. They also have red coloring around the eyes, but not necessarily eyes that would glow. They also say that it had made a chittering sound or a screeching sound that sounded like a record playing backwards. Um, there is a group of people that saw it and decided to go back and reinvestigate and saw it again, um, which is, uh, there are also um, cases or reports of, um, there was a local that said his dog went missing, his German Shepherd, and he blamed it on the Mothman. There were people that saw it and then reported having mass hysteria or like crazy like paranoia, night terrors, like serious psychological problems after seeing this. Um, Two women claim to have telepathic abilities once coming in contact with the Mothman. There are people who claimed that they saw Mothman in Russia and that the sightings of Mothman in Russia was a prophecy for some terrible things that happened in Russia directly after. Um, there is one man who claims to have a picture of Mothman but skeptics say it is either photoshopped or it is a large predatory bird such as an owl just carrying a snake away and the perspective makes it look bigger than it actually is. I'm completely ditching this bath way earlier than I usually would because I feel like my pink fingertips are turning pink. Maybe it's just in my head. I was gonna shave today too, but oh well. My skin feels fresher and cleaner on my face. I'm not sure that it's done much for... Well... Yeah, no. There's no collagen in it to pull some of my wrinkles out. I did moisturize my lips as well as soon as I got out. Because it's winter and my lips are horribly dry. Actually, let me show you how gross it is outside. Eww not Mothman friendly weather. I do feel like my skin is pink though. 
my bath bomb was a terrible choice. Horrible choices have been made today. So, back to the mystery of the Mothman. It sounds like there were a cluster of sightings again in 2017. Um, around five, I think, if I remember correctly. They do have the festival that you can attend every year if you're not interested in attending the festival but want to see some of the things that are Mothman related. There are t-shirts, there's a coffee shop with Mothman themed treats and bakery items, there's a pizza place where you can get a Mothman pizza, there are small shops where you can get Mothman merch. So it's definitely become kind of a touristy little phenomenon. Um, there are locals that do really believe in the Mothman. Um, there are people who will have their own stories of sightings of the Mothman, but the majority of the sightings did happen between um, 1966 and 1967 as a whole. People seem to think that this Mothman is evil, that he had ill intent. Um, the reports include him you know, chasing cars, or you know, people have claimed he's stolen their dog. Oh man! There's a lady who claimed she had a friend who had to wrangle her baby away from this mothman. Um, they do have a large statue in the middle of town. You can go visit that. Um, what else? I guess that's pretty much it. That is the story of the Mothman. Whether you believe it or not is up to you. I hope that today you can take some time out for yourself to pamper. Maybe don't get the mermaid bath bomb because it's horrible. But have a glass of wine, draw yourself a bath, investigate a mystery. <laughs>